Designer. I'm really glad that the folks at Lost Levels, aka the GDC Weirdo Summit, <laughs> invited me here to drop some knowledge on you because I understand you guys are having trouble making some indie games. Well, I've been in AAA games for over 25 years. I recently made my move to indie games to start my own studio. I may not look it, but Rick Chivo is 58 years old. <laughs> you probably know my hit indie game, Dino Suck Thunder Gun. And it's sequel, Dinosaur Thunder Gun Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get started. These are your responsibilities. Have fun. And I don't mean you, I mean you have to put fun in the game. <laughs> don't forget about this. It goes in the game. You're not supposed to have fun. Making games is hard work. Next slide. By the way, before I go any further, a big hand for Katie from Gone Home, my booth bay. <laughs> job putting fun into a game it's fucking simple you are a pleasure slave that is your job your job is to stroke every ludic orifice of every player to make them feel fun and challenge and mastery and other sensual feelings stroke their neurons you are a fluffer for the ultimate pornography the real world you want to get them quiet and wet and ready to go back into reality. That's the only thing you have to do, so why aren't you doing it? Next slide, Katie. The tip number two, be a straight white dude. I, some of you seem to have a problem with this. I don't know why. It's really not that hard. I'm gonna tell you how. Next slide. Straighter, white and dude. All the time. Look around you, there's so many role models here. Why can't you be more like them? You need to be dressing more like them. You guys look like fucking freaks. Look, get yourself a t-shirt, preferably with an 80s game on it. Wear some baggy pants and slouch around and do not talk. Especially do not talk about how you're different from them because that makes people really uncomfortable. This isn't that hard to understand. If you're not sure what games to like, just like what everyone else is liking. Okay, something about rules. Rules are really important. Put them in your game. Next slide. <laughs> be made of pure awesome. And this means don't be made of other things. Do not be made of your experiences, ways in which you're different from other people, your precious viewing. Nobody cares about that stuff. Anything that makes you special, like nobody gives a shit. Okay? I don't care if you're like a, like a queer Asian American trans woman from an immigrant family with some mild mental health problems. Nobody cares about that. Just, just, I don't even know what to say. Next. <laughs> yes, games take a lot of crunching, but the more straighter and wider and duder you get, the more you can make other people do it. People like Ellen Page from Beyond Two Souls right here turning the pages. <laughs> There are many countries all around the world where people's time is much less valuable than your time. So take advantage of that. You can get women to do stuff for you, especially acting as producers. They're great for that. And then the most time-honored indie tradition that many of you don't know about, find a more introverted developer and take credit for their work. <laughs> Next slide. You have to be super original. Super original. Don't be a fucking cloner. We'll find you, we'll kill you. Don't clone the fucking games. Next slide. Here's how you do that. Step one, Super Mario. If you want to be really edgy, regular Mario. You change some stuff around. And then 
the rest of the time you spend doing promo, 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 wherever you can. Don't worry about anything else, just follow this recipe for success and you will have a hit indie game. <laughs> Next slide. Choices, a lot of you really don't get this. <laughs> Choices are really important. The player is the center of the universe. They're the ones that you should be caring about and looking at all the time. They're the decider who decides what happens. Without the player, you are nothing and your game is nothing. You have to make them feel like what they do matters, okay? And like, they're gonna decide what happens. Yes, it's from a list that you make, but that's okay. Don't talk about that part. Okay, next slide. Here's some examples of what not to do. These are not choices. This is a twine game. These things are not choices. Look at this. How did you, how did you feel? Bad, sad, man. No, nobody, do I have to go back? Nobody cares about this stuff. No one cares about how you feel or about how they feel. Next. You have to be a rock star, especially on social media. This is your responsibility. Don't be afraid to swear. Don't be afraid to say weird stuff like just Get on Twitter and just say, egg. <laughs> <laughs> just like Kojima. <laughs> Pick fights with everyone, especially like weird old guys who are still hanging around the game to the industry and being like, I have an academic job now and I have some ideas. No, fight them! <laughs> Next. Polish that shit. Polish that shit to the shine. Take that shit and polish it because when you have shiny shit, you can monetize that shit. How hard is this to understand? You need to like make sure that the game you create just looks like it's something that's been always been there in the world and that there's no creator, it just happened and that you just disappear into it. And because that's what we want, we want things that have been created as if by God, not but like human markings and sweat all over them. So let me explain to you a big problem. Next slide. Less dissonance, more assonance. <laughs> Everything needs to be going in the same direction. You don't want to have like audio-visual dissonance. You don't want like narrative narrative audio dissonance, and you definitely don't want ludonarrative dissonance. If everything's in the same direction, you will reach the perfection of God's unitary creation as represented by this banana and that banana. <laughs> Next slide and last tip. Seek more wisdom. You can buy my book for $129.99 in the GDC store. And with that, I'm out, but I want to give a big hand for Elizabeth from Bioshock. Who's been Woo! Thank you all.